Well, here we are in the Hawks room with the Emerald City about to be attacked. So we have our, I think our Gidlins. So there is the Emerald City and we'll move up closer to it. So Chris Palmer and Buck Sergeru uh, pretty much worked on this and I think Dave Wood helped build the Emerald City. And this is a quick one minute video. I forgot I was supposed to zap this earlier today. And everyone is gathered around to prepare for the siege of the Emerald City. Incredible armies. Little munchkins. Beautifully painted figures by Chris Palmer. I'm doing my best not to get any any gamers in any videos. I, uh, look at this. Sir, what are these things? You're, are you in command of these ostrich looking creatures? I just sat down so I can go. Wow. They are the Winkies, according to the sheet. They're the Winkies. All right. We have, this is the Winky Army. All right. Um, and don't forget, uh, I produced the board game, uh, The Wars of Oz, that ties in with this. So, yeah, fast play war games. So, these figures are just, well, well, there they are. Pumpkin and corn bed. And the city just looks phenomenal. And here we have some skeleton warriors. And there's Chris Palmer himself who is running the game. And it looks like on time-wise, they're going to get ready to start within minutes. Here we have a World War II game, 28 millimeters. Oh, we had a print of Along about July, during Barbarossa 41, the Germans were pushing and pushing hard. The Russians were beginning to add a few additional units, fresh units on them. Uh, and the Germans were being stressed by the supply lines of General Wear and Tear. Uh, what frequently happened was the Germans would be moving and Russians with poor communication will be working on yesterday's orders and have odd orders to go here or go there and that wasn't the best place to put So it's going to be a confused battle? A little confused, the idea being the Germans have the, the punch and the Russians have the numbers but they're not organized and being Russians and looking back onto the purges of 37 and 38 they know if they don't follow this, yesterday's orders they'll be shot. So I'm hoping that Russian players are willing to play by the orders that they're given rather than the best way to shoot something off. So this, this is a, um, a Barbarossa game in the uh, Eastern Front. Yes. Well, I hope you have a great game, and thank you, Jeff, for uh, giving me a quick uh, introduction on your game before you uh, set up the figures, and uh, I hope you have a great game with lots of players. I hope I have players. <laughs>